So here we have a problem that says a mass attached to a vertical spring has position function given by s of t is equal to 2 sine of 4t, where t is measured in seconds and s in inches. Find the velocity at time t equals 1. So first of all, keep in mind that if you start with a position function, then if you take the derivative of it, you get to the velocity function. And then if you take the derivative of that, we'll get to the acceleration function. So usually position is denoted as s of t. And then when you take the derivative of that, it's known as v of t to represent velocity. And then when you take the derivative of that, it's known as a of t to represent acceleration. But another way to write that would be s prime of t to show it's the derivative of the original position function or s double prime of t, just to be clear. Okay, so if we are given the position function, we want to find the velocity at time t equals 1, we need to take the derivative. So we're looking for s prime of t, which is also v of t. So to take the derivative of 2 sine of 4t, I would recognize this as being an outside function, which is the sine function, and an inside function is the 4t. So first of all, I'll take the derivative of the outside function, which, and I'll leave the coefficient there, which is 2 cosine of, and leave the inside function the same as 4t. So, so yeah, the outside function, the derivative of sine goes to cosine. We leave the inside function the same, but then we have to multiply that by the derivative of the inside function. The derivative of 4t is 4. So the whole thing simplifies to, if we multiply the 2 times the 4, that would be 8 cosine of 4t. So here, to find velocity at time t equals 1, we need to plug in 1 into our function. So we get s prime of 1 is equal to, let me pull up my calculator here, 8 cosine of 4 times 1 which is just four. So if we take the, our calculator, make sure your calculator is set in radians, not degrees. So if we set our calculator in radians and we get eight times cosine of four, we get that to be equal to negative 5.23, round to the nearest hundredth. So it makes sense that the velocity would be negative because it would be, well, if the velocity is negative, that means that it's traveling downwards. So if something is attached to a vertical spring, it could definitely be tra traveling downwards just for kind of a general check. Next, it says to find the acceleration at time t equals one. So we need to take our first derivative, which is our s prime of t is equal to eight cosine of four t. And now we need to take the derivative of that. So s double prime of t would be equal to, again, we have a chain rule because we have an outside function and an inside function. The derivative of the outside, we'll leave the coefficient there, is eight. The derivative of cosine is negative sine and leave the inside function the same. Then we need to multiply by the derivative of the inside. The inside function is four t. So when we take the derivative of that, it goes to four. So simplifying this a bit, we can bring the negative out front, four times eight is 32, negative 32 sine of four t. So then again, finding our, when t is equal to one, that would be s double prime of one, which is equal to negative 32 sine of four times one. 
and evaluating that, negative 32 times sine of four is 24.22. So that would be our acceleration at time t equals one. So it could be possible that our velocity is negative and our acceleration is positive. That could be the case when the spring is moving downwards, but it's slowing down, moving downwards. Um, so yeah, it is possible to have both a negative velocity and a positive acceleration um, at the same time. So I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, please subscribe to my channel and let me know if you have any questions for future problems you would like for me to make a video on.